If you're plus size and you're scared to fly, this is your sign to stop being scared. This is me and my homegirl. We're going on spirit and we're going to Miami. Now, this is my first time ever being on the plane since I was like 17. And I never rode the plane uh, being this size. So I was very nervous. Thank God for these walkways because they're your new best friend. And some airports have it on both sides. Some of them don't. Um, so dress very comfortable like I did. I have flip flops, leggings. These are two different size uh, seats. These are the big ones, which is first class. And these are the regular ones. And yeah, girl, you get, guy or girl, you're going to need the, the need the second seat of the first class because you're not going to be able to fit really well on the other seats. Okay, so the first class seats definitely worth the buy. Um the extenders, you can't bring your own on Spirit. They provide you theirs. Um, these are just the prices of the sodas and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, hell no, they on crack. I couldn't. I was like, I'm not buying that. <laughs> like, $5 for a soda, they crazy. Um, so, yeah, for that, for that actual plane, though, the service was great. The girls, they don't make you feel like no type of way. They just, oh, you need to stand Sure, no problem. Like, so happy to, like, accommodate you. Um, the walking from Miami's airport to this train shuttle was crazy okay the the walking was beyond like i had to walk to the other side of the airport just to get to this shuttle which this shuttle is a train shuttle that takes you to another shuttle which is a bus shuttle that takes you to the spot to buy and rent i mean rent a car so if you are coming to miami and you need a rental car this is what you're going to have to go through to go through all this with all different strangers into a car to get to the nearest boom right here and everybody comes there from miami airport straight there to rent the car okay it's a lot of walking so if you're a person who does not walk you don't do exercise you don't walk like that this will be a mission and i say that because i'm a person who doesn't walk that much so yeah it took a toll on my body guys but yes miami was beautiful it was hot it was sunny um this right here, we saw so many different beautiful sceneries. It, it was just so beautiful. That's one thing about Miami is definitely the capital of party life. Um, the only thing I would tell you guys is never come for spring break. They Like they said on the, the news, they shut it down. They definitely did shut it down. There was no parking whatsoever. And it, it was crazy Like when it came to parking. Um, they wanted literally $100 for six hours of parking. They were crazy. But anyways, went to the hood side of Miami and we got three bottles of, from Daddy O's. That's a spot called Daddy O's uh, for only 60 bucks. It was crazy. But anyways, this was the hotel that I stood at, which is so beautiful, so clean. This is the South Beach um, Dream Hotel. I love this hotel. If I ever come back to Miami, it would definitely be staying at this hotel. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it, guys, because it's so pretty. It's so... Um, it's so easy for you to be traveling in. There's a rooftop with a pool, um, elevators. So there's no like straining on your body in there. <laughs> um, this is the entry. When you get in there, this is what you see. Um, then you go to your rooms. It's kind of dim lighting. So don't get a little like creeped out or anything like that. Because this right here, you see a flash, but it is a little darker than. So when you walk into the room, the first thing you see is the toilet and of course the sink. And then on the other side, you see a glass shower. And then from there, you're going to see this beautiful king-size bed. And on the right side, you're going to see is a little vanity to do your makeup and stuff. But honestly, don't because the lighting sucks. <laughs> then on this side, it's just a dresser with, of course, the refrigerator. So now I'm on the rooftop and I'm drunk <laughs> and we're at the pool party. And so, boom, uh, it was really early. So we, we got there early, but uh, it was so beautiful. Like the scenery is so beautiful. This hotel is so dope. If you need a hotel, this is the hotel you need to go to because it's very clean and beautiful. On top of that, look at this building. I had to record it because it was so beautiful. I was like, oh, my God, it's so pretty. Like, I love that. Um, then I went back to the telly. We boomed the next morning. Uh, we, of course, I had to hit that pool again. Then, oh, look at this food that night. Oh, my God. It was so good. Like, New York tacos, I'm sorry. You got shit on Miami tacos. And then from there, the next day, we went to the Miami Beach. Like, how are we going to go to 
South Beach without going to the beach, right? <laughs> so a lot of walking people, walking, walking, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking. Okay, let me tell you this, walking everywhere, okay? And do not go to Miami on spring break because you'll be very disappointed. Um, they closed down almost every part of the beach besides two entrances. And then on top of that, they there's no parking whatsoever anywhere around. This is where we take to the beach some fruits. And that's it, guys. So this is what I ate for the last night there because I was like, I have to try the McDonald's from Japan. So, yeah, that was cool. And, um, yeah, so that's the end of my trip, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and follow for more.